Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So I was bored, kind of winding it down after my, you know, gym workout with the, me and the missus. I happened upon a post by Gina Bruno, like the, uh, the community manager. So this is uh, actually pretty interesting. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can read along all that fun stuff. But yeah, Gina Bruno, if any of you guys are watching, watching this is us, I will help fix your game for free let's help make ESO great again please contact me anything I can do to help let me know but essentially I'll just kind of read off what she has here hello all when battlegrounds first launched we initially saw some data and feedback showing a, pre a preference specifically towards the deathmatch game mode when the recent removal of the option to choose a game mode when queuing for a battleground we've now seen an uptick in players choosing to treat any game as is, as if it's a deathmatch not gonna lie guys I am probably the world's worst teammate when it comes to battlegrounds and objective. If it's not deathmatch, uh, I, I do just that. I treat it as a deathmatch. But if it is a deathmatch game mode, I am like your best teammate. So you just gotta kind of roll the dice on that one. But yeah, I, I am probably the world's worst teammate when it comes to actually utilizing battlegrounds for what it is intended for. She goes on to say, in an effort to increase battleground population interest, the solo and group queues will only have deathmatch game mode for a period of time. Very cool. This change will occur during next week's maintenance on September 20th. This sucks with the wait until next Tuesday. I wish it was out this week, but it is what it is. On the 20th for PC, Mac, and Stadia, and 22nd on consoles. That's amazing. I think battlegrounds is such an amazing feature, but guys let's be real there's no incentive to play battlegrounds there's no good loot there's no good tiles there's 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 no good in-game gear right so at in-game it is 100 percent about cosmetics what you look like like it doesn't matter how trash you are at the game how godlike you are at the game as long as you look the best doing it it doesn't matter and there, there's just not enough of that in battlegrounds like there, there's not there's sets aren't worthy you don't get that much ap you might as well just jo just join a zerg and go ride your horse around Cyrodiil if you want to get an ap now if they could like double the ap gain or something to that extent that might make battlegrounds more appealing to the uh the casual player but uh, after we have a chance to uh, digest some of the feedback and data from this experiment, we'll decide on what next steps should be for Battleground Q options. Consider the best way to add the Battlegrounds game modes back in. Beautiful. Thanks for your continued interest and support. We're excited to hear what you think. Yo, this is great, Gina. Uh, th this is amazing. At least someone is actively working on this. Like I, I used to, you know, give Zoss, you know, shit all the time about how the devs don't play the game. They, they just don't care. Like I still have never seen a dev in the game to this day, seven years playing this game, but that's, uh, that's besides the point. But to kind of actively change this, I, I think this is a really good start yet again. And the, the importance is to kind of re revitalize PVP and like the more the more you play battlegrounds you, you get to the point where your mmr it's like the it, it, it's like the same 50 60 people every single day it the masters are super sweaty it's just it, it it's not all that fun sometimes guys so i, I wish they could remove the skill based matchmaking to be honest uh to make games a little bit easier uh, for some people a little bit harder you know yada yada you'll 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 you'll, you'll get your highs and lows obviously but i think this is a really good step um, Deathmatch is by far you know, the best game type. I mean, in my opinion, it, it's a great way to just join and get some instant action. Whereas if you go to Cyrodiil, you know, you you have to ride around, you have to capture resources, get your continuous attack, yada yada. And then you get Zerg down or instant repeat. So you spend probably 80% of your time riding around on your horse and dying, and only actually 20% of the time PvPing. Whereas you know, Battlegrounds has a constant. Uh, you're in the action like all the time. That's, that's what I really like about Battlegrounds. If I just want to chill, test out some builds, I'll go into Battlegrounds. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm not going to read the uh, the comments, but um, yeah, uh, let me know, know what you guys think. This is uh, pretty phenomenal. Uh, thank you again, Gina, for, for updating us. I've never actually uh, checked her out, but uh, she seems like she's doing a, a lot of good stuff. Again, Zoss. If somehow you guys watch this, I will work for free. I don't care what it is. <laughs> but let me guys know what you think down in the uh, the towel section. Do you guys actually like the other game modes? I, I, I prayerfully don't care. I just like to kill people. I mean, that's, that's me. That's that, that's just why I find fun. Some people find OBJs you know, pretty fun. But uh, if no one's alive to do the OBJ, then that's fun too. You know. So uh, those are my thoughts about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't plan on making this video, but I just figured I'd kind of get this out here. At least, you know, Zoss is kind of looking into the, the whole PvP aspect of the game. And I think this is a great start. So kudos to Zoss in their regards. And yeah, 
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.